Hello, Bill Mollo here for Bill's War Game World, and we're talking World War II German Paratroopers by Arafix. I got these from, uh, um, someone sent these to me. I gotta say thank you. Um, I, he asked not to be, um, he asked not to, uh, disclose his name and stuff, so I won't. But I am appreciative, um, we'll go with JT for initials. Um, and he is not from Maryland area and I've never met him. So thank you very much. So we're going to open these up, but we'll look at the box a little bit, uh, German paratroopers. And, um, uh, now there's, it says here there's 32, but of course, and Mr. JT told me he got these like a long time ago and he, Never did anything with them. Now, I'm going to think all 32 are, or what is it? Uh, all 29 are in here. Now, I put down white paper, white boarding. And the reason I did that is so these will show up. So here we have a leader. And now this Airfix plastic is rubbery. Um, can you see how I'm? So the Airfix recently purchased World War II paratroopers, British. That plastic was sort of a hard, crunchy kind. There's a neat paratrooper with, um, with his uh, charging with bandoliers and all. Pretty cool. So we'll put these in groups of five. There's a little bit of flash here and there. They were never cleaned up. So, yeah, it does look like they'll need just a little spruce it up. Look at this. Machine gun bipods. That's pretty nifty. All right. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. You know what? It looks like we're going to be... You know, basically, we're looking for six rows. And we got it. All right. Very cool. So, JT, thank you. Got submachine guns. And... First thing I'll do is clean them up, put them on poker chips. I don't think I'll bother sending these to Jim Shaw. Um, by the time I get them to him and back again, and all with the holidays, I don't, um, we'll see. But first, I have to take an X-Acto knife to them. Now, I asked, I had somebody tell me they don't like skirmish wargaming. They saw the book of the, some of the Donald Featherstone books back there. But you know what? I had several people tell me they love that book. So, what do you think that I, uh, I don't know, I wasn't planning on doing this, but Skirmish Wargaming by Donald Featherstone. And, well, you know what? We'll spend just uh, a couple minutes on it. I use this for my Zulu game, um, Donald Featherstone, Skirmish Wargaming, $18 US, and bring down the, find out what year, year this was printed, printed in the USA, in 1975. Wow. So, I use this for my skirmish game and i was very happy my it was the uh, prince imperial scenario so um, it has different time periods in it world war one trench raid french foreign legion air troops in mexico um, some photographs in it um, so i'm gonna say um, 
I love Donald Featherstone's old style pictures of wargaming. You know, he was just, look at that, Vikings. All right, and there are Viking roles in this. Skirmish Wargaming, um, Donald Featherstone, um, 1975, 120 pages. So, we hit two things in this video. We hit German World War II paratroopers, which I'll start, I'll get the X-Acto knife, clean them up, and glue them to poker chips with E6000. All right, everyone. Um, also, we need to mention that, um, and I'll do this in front of the camera. For those of you wondering, I'll uh, say that the, um, the two videos on the King's, Kings who must be the the two videos that the Chuckleheads did on the recent miniature war game of 15 millimeter um, Austrian Prussians. We had to want these to review the rules. Um, we apologize. Mike and Walt had some of the rules wrong in that, and um, they had me pull them for now until uh, they make a disclaimer that um, they had a couple of things wrong. And it's all in fun and. Uh, Walt's not sure if uh, that messes up his victories on Mike or not. Leave a comment if you think Walt should still consider both games victorious. And uh, that's it. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. We're getting near the holidays, so don't forget to buy your Goober calendar at Blue Panther Printing or just Google Goober calendar. Hey, thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous, everyone.